So today we will be making okra. Here is my okra. I'm going to voice over this because the background was loud. But um, this is the way I chop my okra. I do multiple at a time because okra can take a while to chop. Um, and that is pretty much the longest part of the process. Also in this, which I didn't show you, is um, I, I chopped my sausage and my vegetables as well. So that is not in the video, but I did do that. I sliced them. Here is the sausage that I chopped or sliced, sorry. And then I'm going to show you all my seasonings and everything I'm putting in. So this is Tony Saturday's Creole seasoning along with my garlic powder. Um, my crushed tomatoes, but I did not end up using this because it, it was very seasy. And then onion powder. And then I have my chicken bouillon, which I like to put in things nowadays. Um, and Louisiana seasoning, which I put on the shrimp. I have my chopped vegetables, my okra. And then uh, my, I don't know if you saw my garlic, my pre-diced garlic. And then I am currently sauteing the, um, the sausage, sorry, and then... I have olive oil just in case my oil in the pan from the sausage evaporates. But I usually like to use the oil from the sausage because it already has flavor in it. So why not? Um, you don't have to season it or anything because the sausage is seasoned. So here is my sausage when it is sauteed and browned. Um, I like kind of a charbroiled look on everything to make sure everything is nice and cooked. And then I'm going to add in my onions and my bell pepper for just a little extra seasoning. Spice it up with your herbs a little bit. So I'm just going to pour everything in and I'm going to turn it a couple times, make sure nothing is uh, sticks, but also to to make sure everything is evenly distributed. So I, I like turning my food when I add things in there. I know some people just add in and just leave whatever you add in on the top, but I love turning it. Make sure everything is, all the flavors are evenly distributed. And then I'm going to um, step away for a little while, let everything saute and stuff. And so when I leave it, I'm going to cover it with a top and just let it let everything simmer down in there. And this is part of the reason why I have the olive oil, just in case that if I were to leave it in the oil, evaporates i can add more oil before i add my okra so here i'm adding my okra in the pot and i'm going to mix everything together just like that i told you i like to evenly distribute everything when i add something new into the pot i'm going to season it that's my tonys that i'm seasoning with now and then i'm going to grab my onion powder All right, and then I'm going to grab my garlic powder, and there it is, sprinkle it around. I love garlic powder, so a little bit of extra garlic powder than the onion powder. Then I'm going to use my bouillon, and I'm going to pour a little bit in the top because bouillon does not come with the shaker top on it, so I'm going to pour it in another top, and then I'm going to add it into the pot and of course mix everything around evenly distribute your flavors just like that and we're going to cook down the okra so one thing about okra a lot of people cook it different ways different cultures but in my culture we do not like slimy okra so we cook it for a while um also, too, as you saw, I added in that garlic, the diced garlic, and that is because diced garlic tends to not be as hard as the regular whole garlic, and so I don't, I don't want all the flavor cooked out of it or it to be burnt. So I added in a little bit later than my onions and bell pepper. So then next, I'm going to add in my tomatoes, and I used two diced tomato cans. They were different types. 
um, just because I didn't have any more of the plain. So I did the one with the chiles. It really didn't matter. It didn't change the flavor or anything like that. So good mix. Um, and I'm going to let that cook down. So one thing about when you're cooking with canned tomatoes, you have to make sure that the sourness is out of the tomatoes. And so in order to do that, you have to cook this for this thing for a minute. I would recommend at least cooking it down for at least like 20 minutes, making sure some of the sour taste is out. Then you're going to add your shrimp. Now, one thing you can do that I might do different next time is cook my shrimp and then add it because it did change the flavor just a little bit. So after that, we are all set and all done and ready to enjoy your meal. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.